Welcome to the Treehouse Play Pals. What's good? What's the vibe? <laughs> so listen, I want to talk to y'all for a minute. And it's about something that really upsets me. And I know y'all might not care, but I care. So I'm about to discuss this very important issue with you guys. And I would like to know what y'all think. So like, comment. And share. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So when I post, go live, or what have you, you guys will be the first to be notified. <laughs> now let's get into this subject that I want to talk to y'all about today. So let's get into it. However you want to do it, keep it cute or ruthless. I got stabbers that got bazookas. Shoot them up, spit them out, and I stepped on them. They say two on them, make them right, but one left on, get them gone. I am very disappointed in the relationship between men and women right now. Um, I was watching a, a, a YouTube channel. And an elder was on there. And the elder said something that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But then I had to stop and think about what he was saying. Along with guys like Kevin Samuel, I had to think about it and was like, okay, I didn't agree with everything he said. But this is something that I do agree with. Women do not like to be held accountable. Let's talk about it. The elder mentioned something about a guy contacting him about a child he had raised and taken care of for some years. I don't quite remember, but this is a common story. Just imagine taking care of somebody's child that you think is yours for years, okay? Only to find out. The child is not yours. Women got to be held accountable for that. That's hurtful. Like that is emotionally traumatizing to somebody. You develop a whole bond with something that you think is belong to you for years. And a person knew just that it was a slight possibility that the child might not be yours. And they lead you believe, to believe that only to save their reputation or to keep them in a favorable light. That's wrong. And then when the man find out, a lot of women get an attitude like they the victim. That's wrong. And women don't like to be held accountable on their bullshit. Like some of the men... The things that they are saying is true. Just like, for instance, Father's Day. Some women don't care what the men get for Father's Day, but let that happen on Mother's Day. They going to act a fool. But you upset when men treat us different. Look how they get treated. You understand that? What special days do they have that they're celebrated and they don't have to contribute nothing to it? Not the money, not the cooking, not the nothing. It ain't going to come from them on the back end. Do y'all understand that? Sometimes men get the short end of the stick. And then we wonder why they always angry. And if they express that, then we feel like they weak because they said, you hurt me. Y'all, that's not right. <laughs> like, how you going to turn somebody into a beast and then get mad when they act beastly? <laughs> Do that even make sense? Like, how can they look at us in a favorable light? And see, a lot of men treat women bad because they mama treated men bad. So they sitting there watching their mama handle this man. She getting about 20 from this one, 150 from this one, 75 from this one. This one over here might be the one that she sleep with. Kids pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to lie to you. I done been guilty of some of those things. Not necessarily them seeing me handle me in a bad way. But my kids done seen dudes that I done dated, which other women who were single will tell you that 
No dude meet their kids. Well, I don't, I don't firm believe or not. If you're going to accept them kids, <laughs> I need to let you see what you're dealing with. <laughs> Up front. Because my kids was a handful. And not necessarily like terrible. Because people will always tell me, yeah, you got some real memorable kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they all was different. Let's just say that. <laughs> They all was different. But for the most part, they tried to remain respectful to people. You understand that? Like, they wasn't the adults. Now, in, with their peers, they did peer things. You understand what I'm saying? But to adults, they had the right idea. Because they know. My bop, yeah, but some people come back and tell me you was talking crazy and you was, them grown people heard you cussing or something like that. Because you know when kids don't cuss when you ain't around. We used to cuss when our mamas wasn't around. So I can't act like that older children don't cuss. We used to cuss too. As soon as the grown folks was gone, we will call somebody a bald head B. <laughs> Your bald head scallywag, yeah. <laughs> we used to call people stuff like that. You know, so we used to do kid stuff. But anyway, the children is confused because look at the relationship between the mamas and the daddies these days. Y'all listen. I don't know what's going on, but it got to stop. It got to stop. Like, first we was having issues with the single mom, and that's producing kids that's not quite right. But we got the two-parent homes producing the same stuff because we are not being attentive to one another. And the kids see that. So when the kids see a break, Within the parents, they know they can wiggle in and do their little thing. Kids know how to play people against each other. Kids will get in the middle to get what they want and bring more division to the two in the house that's supposed to be solid and on the same page. But we don't know how to talk to each other no more. Like, I have a friend, my guy friend. Yes, you can have guy friends that you don't have no romantic situations going on with. Some people can uh, I'm one of the people that I can. I can do that. So anyway, it's not always good because people get the wrong idea in the times we live in. So anyway, I had this guy friend and we always had this conversation between about men and women because he's a man. So he see the perspective different than I would see it because I'm a woman. And some things that I go through, he'll never understand and some things they go through, but we share it. So he tells me like, Sometimes guys, like nowadays, they don't know when to approach a woman because it's different. Okay, first of all, a woman know when they like somebody. And women, we guilty of this. I told you we don't like to be held accountable. If we look at a man and think that he don't have nothing, your attitude be different toward that man than you. Then it be with a man that, that you can visibly see he may have something. And that's how we get got. I told y'all, these trauma, these crazy little men that uh pop pop you in the head <laughs> a couple of times what they be having to bait you in i told y'all money so first of all that's what we be doing wrong then we get over there in um dv situations and then after we didn't got traumatized we get out of that and traumatize other people and normally it's the kids so then they traumatizing somebody do y'all see the patterns here we have a traumatized society and, and for the most part, it got a lot to do with women. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, we brag about stuff in front of kids. Like, your kids know if that man married. Them kids know if y'all ain't never went to such and such house. Why y'all ain't never went over his house? So what you showing them? So now you got these sons in here that think that that's what they supposed to do. And the girls thinking that's what they supposed to do. Or vice versa. Because people live what they learn. Do y'all understand that? They live what they learn. So the things that they learned in your house is the things that they repeat. But then we don't even want to own that. We don't want to own that. Women have to start being accountable for some of our bullshit. Like sometimes these men out here acting a fool because us. They acting a fool because us. Because for one thing, they already know that women are always looking for this visible sign that this man got a whole bunch of money. So now the boys that's good dudes that might not have all this money. Now we forcing them and putting their back up against the wall to go buy some stuff they really can't afford in the first place just to even be considered in the dating pool with these other maniacs. <laughs> if nobody ain't going to look at them, do y'all understand the pattern? 
So some of this as to why men treat us bad has to do with a lot of us. Maybe not us per se, but women. Other women that's raising them. They are women that's bitter, that's way raising bitter sons, bitter women. So whenever they come to the dating pool, they are already traumatized. Now we trying to add our traumatized with they traumatized and think that's going to give you a positive result. It is not. Okay? It's not. And I told y'all, we got to stop gauging people by money. Y'all see what's going on? Y'all see what's going on? All them people had money. That don't mean somebody is morally right. Just because they can earn a dollar. They might be good at earning a dollar. That might be all they're good at. They might not know how to talk to people, but they know how to pick a situation that's going to earn some money. That don't mean it need to be your husband. It might need to be your financial consultant. <laughs> it ain't funny, but I'm just telling y'all the truth. Sometimes we have to stop and start with self. Now, the reason why I think I would get so upset is because men, see, men got a man, man code. They call themselves, oh, I ain't going to get in another man business. But can y'all get in the young man business? I can see a man your age, you don't want to get in his business and tell him how to run his house. But they got little kids coming up, and you can teach them the lessons. That way, when they big, somebody else's daughter ain't got to worry about that fool. <laughs> if you teach them right. But see, what it is, is old men be teaching the young men the same stupid stuff they old man taught them. And we don't learn each other because what she taught you to deal with Susie, that ain't might not work with Sally Jean around the corner. Sally Jean might have them high grits waiting on you. You got to get to know the person that you will. A woman needs to get to know the man she with and a man needs to get to know the woman she with to know how to handle that woman. You might not, you might say something to that woman and she completely shut down. You got to know who you dealing with on both ends of the spectrum. But I just got on here to talk about us right now. This is about women. Sometimes we say some real foul stuff to these men in arguments. And if a man says some stuff like that to us, we calling the whole United States for him to come get him, his mama, and everybody who participated in him coming to this world. You calling them on the phone because he called you out your name. But how many times have you called him out his? Is that acceptable? Because you're a woman and you could do that? I know women that'll go upside a man's head. I was taught if you don't want no man hit you, you don't hit them. And I had to tell somebody that before. Keep your hands to yourself. I know emotions run high, but you need to go in the bathroom and cry or hit the wall or something. But don't put your hands on that man. And if you do put your hands on him, just be waiting on him to put his hands back on you. Now, nah, every time I done been ready to buck up with somebody, I already knew it might not end well. <laughs> I'm just going to try the best I can while I'm having to put my hands on him because I started it. And I ain't going to call nobody because I started. I'm going to just take my little lick. Now, nah. <laughs> nah, if he get too far. But anyways, I didn't get on here to talk about that. What I'm saying is we as women, we have got to start taking accountability for our mess. And once we can own it, that's when we can change it. If you want somebody to handle you different, why don't you practice handling them different? I love y'all for real. Peace. <laughs>